Well, hello. Welcome to my channel. My name is Leah and I'm so glad you're here. Today I am playing with this, the Temptress palette from Pro Fusion to make this blue sparkly look. I had a super fun time playing with this. I had no idea what I was going to be doing, but here we are. It turned out really fun. Um, so if you want to see how I created this look and other goodies along the way, make sure to stay tuned. Today I'm going to try a few new things, but mostly stick to stuff I've already got. Um, I did do a little bit of shopping at TJ Maxx and found a few things that I enjoy um, and a few things that I haven't tried yet, so I want to try them today. So I got this little kit. It is um, a priming oil and looks like a makeup setting spray. They're both... Um, They've got rose hip in both of them, which is supposed to be super good for your skin. And I've never used an oil primer, so we're going to try it today. Um, so it says that... I can get it open. I'll read while I drop. It looks... I feel so like sciency and fancy. But you're supposed to just put a few drops on prior to makeup application. Massage it in. And let it soak in. And I guess it's supposed to give you like more, I guess more bang for your buck with your foundation. Um, I feel like it's going to make me greasy and oily, but we'll see. So the back of the bottle says rosehip oil and apricot oil. Nourish and prepare the skin for flawless makeup application. Add this lightweight, fast absorbing primer to your routine for smooth, dewy glow. And then it says directions, apply a few drops and massage into a cleansed face and neck. Done and allow to uh, allow to absorb before uh, allow to absorb before applying makeup. Um, it can also be used as a daily treatment oil. Um, so we're gonna give it a whirl. And then this is just a I guess a setting spray, but it's also got coconut oil and rose oil infused formula. Hydrates while preventing makeup from fading or melting. Um, we'll see. We'll see about this. But together, these were like on a crazy sale at TJ Maxx. I've been really getting into the idea of experimenting and using facial oils lately. Um, so I was kind of excited to try it. I have been using like treatment oils for my face. I use a Nangai oil and then I also do an oil wash with my skincare at night. Um, I'm not sure if the oil wash is actually like doing anything but I do like the way it feels, so I'll probably just continue. I guess what it's supposed to do is, you know, you have your cleanser and you wash your face, but it's not actually getting everything off because something along the lines of oil attracts oil and water attracts water when you're cleansing. So the oil cleanser will like take all the like sebum and skin and gross stuff off and then the cleanser actually just cleanses. Um, I don't know if it's actually true, but I like how my skin feels, so I'm gonna just keep on doing it. Um, so I'm not gonna do any other um, primers with this. I just want to kind of see how it works on its own. But I am going to be using a new foundation. It's the Maybelline Fit Me um, in the shade something. Um, I don't know. Oh, Nude Beige. It's on the top. Um, so this one is supposed to be really good and it's very inexpensive. It was right around five or six dollars which is the same price point as the Wet n Wild foundation and I tried this again and I just I can't like it. It doesn't feel good on my skin. It, it just looks like it's paint sitting on top of my skin. I know a lot of people absolutely love it, but I just, it did not work for me. So I'm hoping this at another nice inexpensive price point will. Um, and it's also got an SPF 18 in it, which is awesome. Do that. There we go. Okay, I've got this on and it is not quite the right color. It's a little bit dark for me right now, but I think tone wise it works. So I'll save it for the summer for sure. Um, yeah, it's a bit dark, but it is, I'd say, I'd call it a medium coverage. I can still see some of my red spots coming through here and um, a little bit, I can see I've got a little bit of melasma on my forehead um, and I can definitely see that still. Usually that kind of goes away, but it's fine. Um, it's it's nice. It feels good. It's definitely got a nice like dewy kind of glossy finish to it and I like it. Um, besides the color not being quite right, 
yeah, I really like it. I think this is a nice, it feels nice. We'll see how it lasts throughout the day. I'll do a check-in a little bit later this evening. Um, but it applied very nicely. I didn't have to use too much. I do wish it had a pump. I hate the kind of bottles you have to dump out. Um, but it feels nice. It feels fresh, kind of like a, I can't feel it on my skin, which is always really good. So, so far, it gets a thumbs up. Next, I'm just going to do a bit of concealer, and I'm using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. Okay, the concealer seems to be going on pretty nicely on top of this foundation. Um, this is a pretty uh, high coverage concealer, so it might not have been the best choice, but it's what I have on my desk in front of me. Um, yeah, it's going on nice. I like it. It seems to be playing nice with the foundation, which is really good. And I think, so I was saying that I really haven't, did not like that, um, was it that L'Oreal concealer that everybody just absolutely loves? And I think it's because I was using it with foundations that it didn't play nicely with, so it separated a bit. Um, and I think that was my big problem. So I'm going to try it again with maybe this one. So next I'm going to go in with brows. And I'm using the Wet n Wild brow pencil today even though I swore that it was the worst thing I tried in my wet n wild product video <laughs> the other day I'm giving it another try I think I kind of figured out how to use it and so far I've used it one other time and I kind of liked it it gave like a nice natural look um so we're gonna use it today and see how it goes Um, I might be going back on my hatred of this product. It works pretty good and it's inexpensive. Um, and I think my brows look pretty good right now. So, all right, today I am using the Temptress palette <laughs> that I talked about in my $25 makeup challenge video. This I've been using a little bit, just kind of in my day to day. And this was the best, like $2 and 90 cents I've ever spent in my life. I love it. Um, but I kind of want to try out some of these teal colors and these kind of grays and blues down here. It's not going to really go with my shirt, but I don't really care. Um, so I'm really liking this one here called geode. It's a super sparkly kind of teal and, um, maybe this guy, maybe some purples. I don't know. We'll see how we do. Um, I'm just going to play around and have some fun with makeup today. I am going to start with this shade here. It's called Shell, which I don't know why it's called Shell. It's like a light lavender color, and I'm just going to kind of go all over with this one on this brush that I got on Amazon in a $10 makeup kit. It's got actually really nice brushes. Um, yeah, so here we go. I really just wanted to kind of do something different today. I feel like I've been doing a lot of the same warm toned three shade that's pretty I really have to say that the matte shades in this palette are awesome and next I'm going to grab this shade down here called vinyl it's a matte gray and I put that on my eyes somewhere. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am so tired lately. I don't know if it's the weather or what it is, but I have been taking naps for the last two days and I don't like naps. I feel like naps are kind of like a waste of time when you could be, you know, doing stuff with your day. But yesterday I had the weirdest, like worst headache and I laid down. I'm like, I'm just going to lay down for a minute, get up at about 15 minutes and just like you know continue with my life and I slept for two hours and then today I did the same thing I didn't have a headache but I just like had my coffee and my like breakfast and I was sitting on the couch on my laptop and I did the worst thing that you can do which is grab the blanket and then I like continuously like scooted down and scooted down and then the next thing I knew I was sleeping for another two and a half hours so I don't know if I'm still like a jump I think I just figured it out. I'm probably still adjusting from my vacation. I was out visiting my parents in Arizona recently. By recently, I mean last week. And we just got back. So that probably is a big part of why I've been so sleepy. Anyway, they're only an hour difference, but I swear it made like a huge difference coming back. I figured it out. 
All right, next I'm going to grab Enigma. It's this kind of dark, we'll see what it is. I feel sometimes like the colors can be a little bit misleading. Um, ooh, it's pretty. Okay. All right. We'll see how this looks. Um, yeah, so we were in Arizona and it was just Magnus and myself. My parents and my grandmother were down there. My parents have a home in the Phoenix Mesa area and the weather has been just absolute shit here. So we went, I took Magnus for a week, that's my son, and we went for a quick visit and we had a really fun time and he's a great swimmer. I'm so proud of him for being three. I mean, I'm his mom, so of course I'm proud, but I think for being three, he's a really good little swimmer. Um, and we had just a really nice time. It was nice to hang out with my parents and we just, relax the whole week and watch TV. My grandma was, <laughs> we got my grandma watching Grace and Frankie and she's so funny because she's like, I don't like how these women talk on the show because they say like fucking shit. And, um, but she was totally laughing and we were like, well, do you want to stop watching? She's like, no, no, well, we can keep watching. So my grandma's like an undercover sassy mouth, but she thinks she's like too, ladylike or something or I don't know she just doesn't like it when they swear but she still thinks it's super funny when they swear <laughs> so I don't know my grandma's funny um but she was having problems hearing so I let her wear my wireless bluetooth earbuds and all of a sudden my grandma was cool ass lady pimping around the house and her like wireless earbuds listening to tv and laughing at people saying you know curse words so it was really fun this color is really pretty. Like this is a beautiful blue. It's like a peacock blue. Um, Enigma. Okay, next I am gonna just kinda put a little bit of concealer in the inner parts here because I want the shimmery parts to really shine. And I'm gonna fast forward because I can't talk and do this at the same time. Okay, that's pretty much dry. And I am now going to put on my sparkly shades. And I am going to use the shade Thunder, which is this really pretty kind of navy sparkly blue. Geode. And maybe a little bit of finesse, this purpley one. Um, and see how they go. Typically, they look really pretty. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to use this guy. Right. Yes, so vacation was lovely. We had such a nice time and I'm just, it was too bad that Mike couldn't come, the hubs, because he had to work. But um, he'll go next time. We've already got like plans for our next trip that he'll be, he'll be a part of. That pops, that's really pretty. Um, but yes, it was nice to be back. And then of course we get back and I'm greeted with a stupid huge snowstorm so the shade's not so much shimmery as bright but it's pretty so it's fine um yeah it's kind of a kick in the ass when you go to you're hanging out poolside for like a week and just having a nice time and then you come back and it just dumps snow all over everything but that's life on the prairie so we've got a whole bunch of snow in our driveway and we're waiting for our snow guy to come and <laughs> Mike and I had to get out and like physically, now I'm going in with geode. Um, oh, hey now, you're pretty. Had to get out and like shovel, <laughs> it sucked so bad. Um, because we lived in California for 13 years so we got so used to not having to like do that that we were both just so irritated um not irritated it just shoveling sucks that's really all there is to it and it makes me miss california so much because there was never anything like that you had to do it was just you lived there and it was just nice all the time okay now i'm just gonna grab the brush i used for you know this part and just kind of buff everything so it blends together on the top edge i'm kind of obsessed with this blue color it's super bright and i really like it so i'm going to take that all underneath my um eyes i 
I can hear my parents dog downstairs digging through the garbage and he's in trouble he's a hundred thousand years old and you would think that he doesn't like cause shit anymore which is wrong because he's a shit starter <laughs> he's a little shih tzu and he's just a little stinker but he's super super sweet and my son loves him and whatever but i can hear him digging in the garbage so i hope he's finding something good because there's nothing in there but boxes all right now i'm gonna grab this silver shade here sorcery just on my pinky and just dot it on whoo there it is, the inner corner. That's pretty. I put on some eyeliner and some mascara. I just, I don't feel like putting on lashes today, so this is as good as it's gonna get. Uh, let's do the rest of my face. All right, so I kind of wanna do just like a super glowy, shimmery thing because I've got sort of a ice princess thing going on, so I'm not gonna go too crazy with bronzer. I'm just gonna use this Wet n Wild um shade in crown of my canopy and just use that instead of a deep bronzer and this brush i got on an after christmas sale they were all marked down to like a buck and a half and it's just got this funny little handle but it's a full-size brush and it's kind of nice <laughs> i'm enjoying it so i just want to do like the slightest bit yeah just a tiny bit of warm up and give a little bit of glimmer and then we'll highlight everything. Now I'm gonna use ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in Flexitarian and we're gonna highlight with this one. I like this one because it's a little bit of a cooler shade and it is super pretty and bright. And I'm using the Real Techniques, I don't know what, setting brush. I don't know what you said, I use it for highlight. We're going to call that the face done. Let us put our lips. I'm going to be using Lip Sense today and I'm using the shade Goddess and a little bit of Fire Opal. It's a really pretty, what is that, like pink iridescent. All right, I took my little pin thing out of my hair and it was wash day so my hair is very fluffy. But this is the finished look of the blues that are very blue from the Profusion Tetris palette. I think they look nice. All right, you guys, that is it for this frosty, icy, snow queen blue, really fun look. Um, I had a really good time kind of figuring this out and playing with it. I really like how it turned out. Thank you guys so much for joining me, and we'll see you at my next video. Bye, 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 bye.